What is going on guys, Brutalize back with another video. Today I am standing outside of the Mattel headquarters where all the magic happens. If you look behind me right there, you guys can see the WWE logo above the door. Mattel, we make toys right there. This place is absolutely epic. And yeah, in this video, we're going inside. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna take a look at what's popping inside the Mattel headquarters. This is gonna be absolutely epic. This is where the magic happens, guys. This is where the WWE figures are made. It's gonna be lit. So without further ado, let's do it. Got that ringside shirt, code live on the back. Let's go. Like eating. Yeah, right? Some Mattel stuff here, guys. Some Jim Macho Man on display. Rip and Zeus. It's so official in here, dude. Got Seth Rollins' gear, y'all. <laughs> yeah, were we supposed to grab food? Or? Hey guys, we're here in the Mattel headquarters. Check this out, bro. <laughs> D, D, D. Okay, okay. Oh, please back it, guys. Please back it. MattelCreations.com. Make it happen. <laughs> we're moving. Yo! Holy, that's Eric Bischoff, bro. I saw something I like back there. Yeah, really? For real? Back it. What on earth? Guys, there's the figure right in front of it. There's the taker jacket. Holy crap, there's a crazy jacket, man. Whoa! Good call, brother. <laughs> Bret Hart jacket, guys, that's legendary. It's on the wall, looks like an updated bra. Rick Steiner, Bianca Belair, Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> Yo, hey, this reminds me of the childhood right here, boys. <laughs> Those 64 images, which you see on screen here, wow. will be compiled into a 3D model of the uh, of the talent. In this case, we're looking at Logan Paul here. Uh, someone we had in uh, earlier to, uh, to you know, work on his figure. He comes in the sculpting uh, department. And we use this little little fancy machinery here to um, do the do the sculpting. And this is sort of like like the PlayStation or Xbox when you run into a wall, you get a little shock. Yep. So this is hmm. like force feedback, so I can actually feel. So this thing is crazy, guys. This is how they make the molds in the head. Like, literally, watch this. So I'll pick this up here, and I'm going to go by his head, right? So you'll find... Where am I? So there, there I am in the back. So here's my ball. And this thing, I made a hole in Logan Paul's head. So I'm going to go inside of his head. If I can find the hole. You can see how I come out, and I'm doing that with this tool. It's freaking crazy. So I'm going to go in his head again. Yeah. Right there. And then I can come by his eye, and then this thing goes in, and it stops me from going anywhere because this is the mold. Absolutely insane. Just use the Touch X machine, and that's how they like mold faces and fix them after they got the... Um, scan right there. Say they want to fix something, they want to add something here, add something there, fix the hair, fix the skin tone. Like that's the machine that you guys just saw right here. That's what you guys just saw me using with Logan Paul's head. And that is just absolutely insane in my opinion. And here's how they do the scans. With uh, Logan Paul, there's some screens right there. And then there's the big More figure reveals, baby. Let's check it out. Got some... Yo, dope. What color are they gonna do? I would guess navy. Maybe navy. Here we are, guys. Brand new figure reveals. Got Virgil right there. Maybe. You think it's great? What you got? Rocky my idea. Oh, it, probably since it's technically a re-release from the Target exclusive. The up die cut right here on this new. Yes, dude. Good call, man. I would have never noticed anything like that. Nice looking Sean. Uh, they also gave him the bigger knee pads. I don't know if that's going to be legit. I mean, there's, I feel like there's so much time that could pass For sure. By, like, Even the new Austin head, dude. Crazy. Mr. I mean, I mean, British Bulldog built a figure. Here it is in the Attitude Era gear, which looks cool. Gargano, Virgil. Here's Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, Eos Sky, that's cool. Dude, that Becky actually looks fantastic. Yeah, that thing is freaking sick. Look at the cloth, like, skirt she's got. Virgil. Yeah. Jerry the King Lawler. I love that Rich Holland. man. Braun Strowman, he's definitely gonna have red pants, oh, dude, boys. Is <laughs> dude, good. for I mean, real. <laughs> Who's next to Braun? That that woman right there. Can you tell? I can't tell. Me neither. It's difficult. Dakota Kai, maybe. Braun Breaker, center. Yeah, dude. Dope. Drew McIntyre. I'm interested to see what attire they're gonna do. So that's Solo right there. Is that Solo? Yeah, that's Solo. That's good call. Good. Torso choice? Yeah, Not torso right now. Questionable. Kind yeah, of questionable. definitely. Well, and the legs look really skinny. Yeah, he's a that's big a, dude. He's a thick one. guy. And then you got updated Dom, which looks really, really good. Yeah, man. looks like Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> My lord. So, We're here in the, the... It looks like Cena Ultimate Shoes. 
beforehand you couldn't put those on the Uso, so now yeah. that they do, like dude, the detail God. is on another level. I like the black the pants. I like the dude. I like the choice with the Absolutely attire. Absolutely beautiful. Man. We the one shirts. Got the NWO Bischoff. See, I thought this would come with the crowdfunder, and it's not. So. Ooh, Bobby Ultimate Edition. That's yeah, sick. Nice proto of the Bobby. For sure. Great yelling head sculpt. We haven't seen that since like R3 Jax. So no, for real. A screaming Bobby. A new head skin with a Bobby. I love it. Dude. Bianca, Bianca Belair. Ultimate. Look at that fur coat. Yeah, that claw jacket's sick, dude. Mm. Amazing. How beautiful, man. Amazing. Oh, incredible. Yes. I didn't, but I couldn't even recognize him here. That's the sick, the but that's so much better. Classic for me. I guess, just I guess you can have, so dope. it's going to be like, maybe that's going to be the claw singlet in the red, and then you can pull the straps down. Guys, looks like these are possibly like sneak peeks of what else we can see. Um, like these cloth like items here, maybe like an Iron Sheik Ultimate Edition. This is possibly Rey Mysterio, I'm not sure. Uh, obviously this is Alpha Academy, shoes, shoes please. Uh, looks like we're going to be getting another warrior right there, which looks dope. We got a WrestleMania 2 shirt. Maybe King Kong Bundy? I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. And then they got the whole real shirt. The at the bottom. Absolutely. Yes. And the crown. Like the, the bizarre crown she was wearing. No, literally. Last year. It was just crazy and wacky. And to see that in figure form is like, <laughs> like they it's amazing. Like, oh God, Great work, Phil. One of the best ones. 2002. Sean, yeah, so chamber. sick. Is it so Brown sick. Prince? Very soon, I would assume early next year. And hey, what's up, my boy? So, dude, nice to see you. <laughs> um, and bro, this is like a dream. Like, should I wake up or no? Probably not. What? <laughs> dude, look at these heads, dude. So they're making the molds, the figures right here. You can see some parts. Oh, this is a full figure broken down. Amazing. Look at the the plastic. That is crazy. <laughs> if you guys were at uh, what the Texas WrestleMania. Build of a WWE figure, y'all. Looks like they're printing Logan Paul. You can see it on the screen. I feel like we shouldn't be breathing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yo, so sick. Check it out, guys. Here's Logan Paul. Just made. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe like a small. Oh, yeah, good call. Heck yeah, funding, dude. Please that, make it all happen. All funding makes it possible to build this. Please make it happen. Oh my you gosh. That? Hey, I'm just like the whole this. <laughs> this, 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 no, this is literally this is literally what we wanted this to happen. Like, we wow. had this conversation. Well, what can we make happen? And Steve came up with, why don't we do something that's you know sees it in, in the tune? If that funding becomes possible, that opens the gateway to make like this possible. Here we are, guys, standing by what could possibly be the next crowdfunded project if we back the WCW Monday Nitro yeah. stage. Make it happen to Mattel Creations.com. Gotta make it happen. Gotta make it happen. But look at this thing, bro. It's massive. Entrance stage, screen, lights. This is so freaking insane. Hey, we snuck away from the tour to come back and look at this. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> They're over there. But we're, we're checking this out, boys. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Dude, what do you think of the Logan Paul? I know yeah, it's like a so prototype thing, so but good, bro. Like seriously, the Pokemon card even on the thing. We're going yeah. to town, guys. Printing a Logan Paul. So you see these lasers going along, doing this, doing that. I don't even know where to start. It's creating this. No. Yeah, and it goes up like yeah, maybe this. depending on thickness or something like That's that. That's nuts, bro. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Look at this machine. Like, like bro, I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, uh, WWE stuff over there, y'all. Flex Force, a bunch of old <laughs> WWE stuff. Scott Hall's Nitro debut uh, when he jumped ship from WWE to WCW, uh, and not shown here, uh, but uh, that'll go with the stage if we pack right. the stage. And and of course. You know, we, we saw a request and we anticipated requests for a Monday Nitro ring to go with the stage. Uh, so the Monday Nitro. Hey, how are we doing, MVP and Omas? Exceptionally well. It's an absolute honor to be here and talking to you. And, uh, I know it is. Let me tell you, <laughs> the size of Omas is absolutely insane in person. I just want to say that right off the bat. And uh, my question is, and for MVP in particular, when it comes to Elite Figures, that's my uh, main collection, is I've seen you in Elite Series 1, Elite Series 9, great figures, by the way, and then of course there was a newer one with your gold outline in black, um, some solid attires, but when it comes to an attire maybe that you would like to see 
in a WWE action figure form? Any that come to mind from your career as a uh, WWE superstar? Uh, actually, there's one set of gear that I wore, and I, I think I've only worn it twice, but it's the black gear with the, the red skull on it with the red boots. Right. I, I don't think you guys have done that one, and but I think that one with the red and black with the red gloves and the boots, I think that one would pop really hard. So I would love to see that one, but otherwise I, I've just been blown away by everyone I've ever seen. Absolutely, thank you. And then for Omas as well, um, I hate to get off the topic of action figures, but when it comes to the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, are you at all worried about the match coming up at WrestleMania? This man asked. was worried. You don't watch Monday Night Raw, huh? <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to say this real quick. Brock Lesnar is one of the most dominating iconic WWE superstars of all time, one of the most decorated, the man who ended The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. You've never seen Brock Lesnar retreat, ever. You've never seen him back up from anybody until he ran into the Nigerian giant and he put it in reverse twice. That is, is he worried? Especially the hand next to the side of Brock Lesnar's head. Absolutely amazing. You guys are great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, wait a minute. Falling. Because I didn't come alone. <gasps> it is your pleasure. As a matter of fact, everybody get on your feet right Whoa. now. Yeah. Whoa. Because I would like to present to you no. one of the great no wonders of the world. The <laughs> seven foot, three inch, 416 pound no Nigerian way. giant, Omas. Can you fit through the door? <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. Oh, sure. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Holy cow. <laughs> MDT. What on earth? Hey, we got five minutes. You want to go back and look by the, by the figures? Hey, yo, we just got out of uh, the Mattel headquarters, man. That was an absolute best. Got the gift bag. We'll go through it. Oh, but they are. The, oh, for real. That's absolutely the word to describe this day. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Me and MDT. No words. No words. No words. Seriously, we just had a hell of a time in the Mattel headquarters. Man. Looking at some new figs, getting some figs, meeting some people. It was a blast. I really got enjoyed the vid. Um, subscribe, like, stay tuned for more coverage on WrestleMania. And MDT and Brett Alive. See y'all. Out.